Okay, all right, so uh, this is McQueen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services. Um, this, this Starbucks location is about to close. I want to make this really quickly and clear stated. Um, what is a biohazard? So a biohazard is any kind of exposure to a chemical agent or any kind of viral uh, pneumonia or viral influenza in the air. And so pretty much that has been what has been going through in the COVID pandemic. We have been dealing with uh, the viral exposure from this pandemic. And people have been testing positive for symptoms and exposure to the uh, COVID-19 virus, as well as other variants and uh, variants of the disease, okay, which is also a Delta variant too. Okay, so when you're dealing with a bio, biohazardous agent, it could be through either your mouth, the way you're talking, it could be through hand-to-hand -hand contact, as well as could be skin-to-skin -skin contact, as well as any kind of touch, any kind of smell. And so that smell in general can also be considered as a biohazardous agent. It can also be considered as hate. So maybe may say, hey, I hate you because um, you're not wearing a mask, so because you're not wearing a mask, we consider that as a biohazardous agent. Anyway, so pretty much what I really wanted to be to make known is that we have to figure out ways in order to contain as well as other ways and to deal with this pneumonia of the COVID-19 virus. Unfortunately, right now, as of August 2021, this biohazardous agent, this exposure, the, the fume as well as the exposure from the skin to skin contact, the mouth to, to mouth contact, as well as any kind of contact, physical, physical or viral contact, is still catching people. It's still catching people, and unfortunately, people are testing positive for the symptoms of the COVID-19 pneumonia. Okay, any kind of variants, whether the symptoms change, whether there's a new variant that's called a new name of the disease, whatever it is, people are right now are testing positive for this virus here in Boston, as well as even deep down in the south to Florida, as well as to Texas. So what can you do about it? You can let your friends, as well as your loved ones, be made aware of what are the symptoms behind COVID. You have a high fever, you have a running fever, you're not feeling good, you're not supposed to go to work, you're not supposed to have, have any kind of communication with people, as well as you are to still continually supposed to get tested for COVID-19, okay? I get tested for COVID-19 on a week-by-week -week basis as well as every two weeks, okay? I also have another COVID-19 test on this upcoming Friday, okay? Still, people may decide, okay, well, you know, we don't like the disease, so we refuse to get tested, okay? Whether you refuse to continue to get tested for COVID-19, it really doesn't matter. The, the, the matter, the real truth about it, the factual evidence behind it is that COVID, the COVID-19 virus is still in the air, okay? Whether you receive, refuse to accept the vaccine or not, whether you refuse to believe in the vaccine or not, the COVID-19 virus is still in the air. It's still in the atmosphere, okay? So you can consider it biohazardous or dangerous, whatever it is, okay? It is still it has exposure, okay, to people, whether you refuse to accept it or not, whether you refuse to believe it or not, okay? You can make it a political issue, a religious issue, a social issue, whatever it is. COVID-19 is still existing today. So what can you do about it? What can you do about it? Well, unfortunately, a lot of people right now have issues with it. Older people as well as young people. Like I said before, you can let people be made aware of the symptoms. The symptoms are a high running fever, difficulty breathing, um, uh, chest pain, as well as um, dehydration, as well as difficulty breathing, slow respirations too, slow respirations, as well as anything else like that, okay? You can also research these and have a journal conversation between you and your provider, whether it's a medical doctor or whether it's a local healthcare practitioner, okay? A natural hemopathic doctor. Whoever you have a healthcare relationship with, ask them about, hey, I'm still having the symptoms of COVID-19 or I'm having the symptoms of pneumonia, I'm having the symptoms of a virus, what do I do? What do I do about this, okay? Whether you're in any kind of living environment, 
You have a home environment. You have a roommate environment. You're in a shelter environment. You're in a church environment. You're in a school environment. Whatever kind of environment you are in, you still have exposure to COVID-19. It doesn't matter if it's a clean, enclosed environment where you're living just with one person between you and your husband, or if you are with a big, huge environment where you are dealing with roommates, multiple roommates, or in a shelter situation with different people that you do not know or you do not have a contact contact on a daily relationship with whatever kinds of living environment that you are in okay it's still you still have exposure to this virus so don't think that just because you live in an enclosed environment that you do not have exposure to this illness okay it's still affecting people whether you are rich or whether you are poor the COVID-19 virus is still affecting people Okay, so you can make it biohazardous and dangerous to your health, or you can choose to accept it and deal with it and make those symptoms overcome it, however you respond to it, okay? So this is Laqueen Battle talking about biohazardous agents in the air, okay? And let you know, as of August 23rd, 2021, COVID-19 is still existing right now, okay? It is still existing right now. Whatever kind of living environment you are in, it is still existing, okay? If you have any questions or comments, email me at battlefirstaid at icloud.com as well as I send donations to uh, cash at Venmo, PayPal at battlefirstaid responder services, okay? Oh Guys, continue please to keep me in your thoughts and prayers, okay? All right, love you, God bless, bye.